Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today in Shiksha Mantra we would start a discussion that's obviously of much help for you particularly those who are in competitive exams and the school students, college students and almost whoever want to learn something about English grammar. Yes dear friends, we have already discussed adverbials adjuncts and conjuncts and one very very important adverbial is still left for us to discuss and today we are going to discuss one of the very very important of the adverbials and this time this adverbial is called yes dear friends we are going to discuss disjuncts or disjunctive adverbials here in Shiksha Mantra. So stay tuned with us in this discussion and let's begin our discussion here right now. Do you really want to understand what disjuncts are? Disjuncts are adverbials and there is no confusion in it. But which sorts of adverbials? They are adverbials but they do not share any informations. Yes, dear friends, for adjuncts, we have discussed that they share some informations and these informations aren't essential for us for every sentence so we may get rid of them in course of our sentence production but when we talk of disjunct we must remember that these are not any such things with which we may get rid of or which we may easily what we can do throw out of our sentences so they are adverbials but not information so what are they which particular feature do they have so let's begin our discussion here disjuncts they are like this like what like this picture just have a look at it if we consider this as a clause disjunct is but this part so they are attached to the clause but separated for adjuncts what we have found for adjuncts we have found that within the clause there stays the adjuncts the adjuncts is a part of the clause as they share an information but disjuncts are not the part of the clause they are not within the clause but they are but an external part of the clause which stays separated from the sentence. So here we have an example. Arguably, it is quite different. Arguably, look, this is the disjuncts we are talking of. It's separated with a comma. So arguably, it's separated from the main clause. It is quite different. So, we call arguably a disjunct. That's it. So, when we have talked of disjuncts and particularly some of its features, now it's very, very essential for us to discuss their uses. That means how they are used and with which features. So, these uh, disjuncts are often used as simple adverbs. Yes, dear friends, they can be used as simple adverbs like honestly or candidly. And also, besides that, we have to remember that they can also be used as prepositional phrases. So, prepositional phrases may also uh, make some uses of... Uh, disjuncts like from my point of view if i produce a sentence from my point of view disjunct is really a very very important and essential part of our learning of adverbs from my point of view just consider it's a 
prepositional phrase and it doesn't matter whether we keep it with the sentence or not. So this is not an integral part of the sentence. That's why this is disjunct. And also there are non-finite clauses which can be used as di disjuncts like to be honest or speaking frankly. Speaking frankly, it's really very, very interesting for me to produce some classes for my viewers. Or to be honest, if I uh, use this non-finite clause, to be honest, YouTube is but a platform where you may learn anything and everything. So these are the disjuncts uh, and with them, the main clause, the clause with which they appear are not directly connected. So how are they connected? Obviously, we are going to discuss it in the next part of this video. So uh, stay with us. Don't skip anything. But before we start that discussion, we have one point left and that is finite clauses. A finite clause can also be used as disjuncts like if you ask me, if you ask me, I would assure you that this video is going to be of much help for your English learning. So if you ask me, I would assure you that this discussion is going to be of much help for you. So a whole clause, a whole finite clause, we have found propositional phrase, we have found non-finite clauses and here we are saying that a whole finite clause can also be used as disjuncts. But how are they used? Where are their uses? That's the point we have to discuss now. So let's uh, find out what use we can take them when we are in our discussion of disjuncts so how disjuncts are used why will you use disjunct so there you may use them for style so we will call them style disjuncts yes dear friends style disjuncts they may use they may refer refer to what refer to how truthful the speaker is being how truthful there's an example. Frankly, I don't think he's up to the job. So the speaker is truth truthful here. Or with them, with style disjuncts, we may indicate limitations. Like in my opinion, it is not tough at all. So disjunct adverbials, in my opinion, these are not tough at all. So here I'm uh, putting our limitations with my opinion. They may refer to the manner of what is being communicated, like confidentially. Let me tell you the secret of disjunctive adverbials. Yes, dear friends. So with these style disjuncts, you may produce sentences like these. And here would shift to our next part and that is attitude. Yes. You may show your attitude with disjuncts and they are called the attitude disjuncts. So how they go? They refer to general likelihood. General likelihood. Yes, dear friends, general likelihood of something being true. How? Arguably, that is a false conclusion. Arguably, that is a false conclusion. So what's uh, being done here? Here we are considering something to be true but as a general likelihood then comes refer to obligation of advisability how surely the world is in crisis so this is obligation of advisability then comes express a speaker's emotional reaction like amazingly our opinion changes with time and conditions i'm really hot i'm really hot 
my emotion gets hurt for something so it's a re emotional re reaction that uh, we can't stay fixed we change so frequently our opinion changes with time and conditions amazingly the expression suggests it amazingly so the emotional reaction is quite evident from here so it suggests attitude as well and here we are ready to shift to style disjuncts that concern how the speaker or writer wants the statement to be understood it's it's also very very vital how the speaker or the writer wants the statement to be understood here i have an example i honestly don't believe he likes me so honestly i don't believe he likes me just just have a look at it very keenly style disjuncts concern what how the speaker or writer wants the statement to be understood so it's my intention when i produce a sentence how you as a listener will understood it how you'll understand look i honestly don't believe he likes me so what i'll say honestly i don't believe he likes me so i want you to believe that as well so i'm using these junks honestly here so this is uh, something that's of much help for us and here we are going to summarize what we have discussed here so this is but a summary now we may comment or opine about a previously produced sentence with disjuncts so with disjuncts we may use it as a comment or uh, to to produce an opinion to give a opinion about what about a previously produced sentence how fortunately the documents were saved in drive so when you read this clause this sentence the documents were saved in drive you'd understand that there's something before it which is not here in this sentence so we are relating to it we are uh, commenting about it or we are uh, producing a opinion here with this sentence so we, here we are using disjuncts fortunately and dear friends that's all about our discussion of disjuncts i hope you have understood it if you have any question you may write down in the comment section below stay with us we are returning very soon with another very very interesting discussion here in shiksha mantra till then bye bye happy learning